Today I have an interesting unboxing video of a product I think will be a fun addition to the channel. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. Well you can see from the box we have a heritage here and this is the Rough Rider small bore revolver. But why such a long box for a revolver you might be asking? Well, because this is the 16-inch barrel version. Now, I've considered buying a Rough Rider in the past because they're very, very inexpensive, and they do have a fun Old West feel to them, and they're cheap to shoot. It's 22 long rifle, even though some are available in 22 Magnum. This one's a 22 long rifle. And the thing that pushed me over the line is they came out with these new grips. This is the Honor Betsy Ross edition. And I thought about buying one, but then I saw that it's available in the 16-inch barrel, and that was it. I just had to have one. So let's get this opened up and take a look at it. Let's see if I can get that to stay open. First of all, we've got the usual paperwork here. Uh, free shipping offer. Oh, extra cylinders. And again, inexpensive. Look at that. About 30 bucks for another cylinder. And I think I will add the uh, 22 Magnum cylinder to this. The box has a cutout for it because some models will just come with both. This one just comes with the one in the gun, which is 22 long rifle. Then we've got here, let's see, NRA stuff. Of course, warnings about lead. Got the user manual here as comes with all guns. Uh, let's see what other goodies are in here. Uh, Handgun Safety Act notice. Over here we've got the child safety lock. And of course, for a revolver, you're actually going to have to remove the cylinder to put that through the frame and have it work. Well, let's pull out the gun itself. I'll go ahead and move the box for a moment. So here it is, and here are those grips I was talking about. Honor Betsy Ross, it's got a little version of the Betsy Ross flag there. Another thing I like about Heritage, by the way, is they have so many different grip options available, and they're not very expensive. And I actually do plan on getting another set of grips for this. I really like their faux pearl grips. So I'll probably buy a set of those. You'll see me use this on the channel sometimes with the flag grips and sometimes with the pearl. And I definitely will right away be ordering a new cylinder in the 22 Magnum. Well, I wish I could even get this all in the shot for you, but uh, there is the end of the barrel. This thing is just ridiculous. 16 inches. Uh, it's a little front heavy, it seems, uh, as I hold it. But I'll be honest, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I really thought this would be pulling down, but uh, it's, it's not uncomfortable. I think it'll shoot just fine and shoot comfortably and probably gain some velocity with that barrel length. I'll definitely do some chronograph testing in later videos. It's got a loading gate on it just like the old Colt did and the cylinder does not free up until you pull the hammer to half cock. I really like that because that's how it was on the old Colts. Now I'm definitely not saying this is a good reproduction of a Colt single action army. It is very historically incorrect but it has some of those features. I picked up the Ruger Wrangler and I did not like that one. You open the loading gate right here, the cylinder's just free, and it does not have these positive clicks like that. It just spins. And also on here, another thing that's wrong, you'll notice there is no firing pin. Instead, the firing pin is that little piece of metal protruding there and the hammer strikes that. But this also has a manual safety. This lever right here, when it's up like that, it's on safe. And if I flip it down, now you can see that red dot in there, it's ready to fire. And all it really is is just a hammer block safety. I'll try to get it up close and show you. As I flip it up, look right down in here and you'll see that block swing up into position. So now the hammer cannot get forward enough to reach the firing pin. The idea there is you could load all six rounds and carry it that way. I'm a creature of habit, I might still just load five in it, we'll see. And then you just flip that safety down and now the hammer can go down and actually press the firing pin against the primer of a cartridge. Disassembly, uh, pretty easy with the Heritage, just press in on this pin. And this is something that is somewhat historically correct. Just press in, pull this pin out, open the loading gate, and that cylinder will just come right out. I'll set the gun down for a moment as I remove this little safety cover that came with it. Let's see. There we go, get that out of the way. You know, those very small chambers, again, this is just 22 long rifle. 
And people ask all the time, can you shoot 22 magnums in this? The answer is no. You do need to get the other cylinder. And again, I will do that. So you'll see multiple videos of this gun. Now that came out very smoothly. Let's see if it goes back in smoothly. Get it in position. A little tough to do on a camera. Let's see here. There it goes. All right, it's back in place. Not too bad. You know, uh, for the price, this is actually a pretty good gun. And again, I feel silly showing it like this. That's about the size of a regular single action army. But again, this one just goes and goes and goes. The sights are just fixed. Uh, very small front sight there. Uh, rear sight is also just fixed. I did notice, and I don't know if you'll be able to see, but that rear sight is very wide. Not sure if I like that, but it is at least easy to pick up the front side in your field of view. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed this little quick unboxing look at the Heritage Rough Rider 16-inch Honor Betsy Ross edition. There we go. There's a view all of all the gun in frame. And of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This gun will be featured in other videos. As I said, we'll be doing some chronograph testing with it, having some fun. And the last time I did a video on a Heritage Rough Rider, you may remember the High Fructose gang showed up, so we may have to get back after them with the 16-inch model. Thank you so much for watching.